we're going to talk about the order of operations. And this applies to when you have a mathematical expression that has various uh, mathematical operations such as multiplication, division, addition, um, etc. in it. Which of those do you do first? You can't just go left to right and do the, uh, the mathematical operations. There is an order to them and you need to know that order and you need to memorize that order. So I want you to copy this down, what I have written on the board here. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. This is the order that you're going to do the operations in. So you need to have this memorized. One way that a lot of people uh, memorize it is through a mnemonic device in which you just take the first letter of each of these and we make a phrase called please excuse my dear aunt Sally. So if you can remember the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, that's a way to remember your order of operations. You can see the P is for parentheses, E exponents, M multiplication, D division, A addition, and S subtraction. So that is the order. This is the order we're going to do mathematical operations in. And you can remember that, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So remember that phrase. So now I'm going to uh, pause and put a problem up on the board and we'll work through this. So I've put a problem up on the board here. You can see it involves numerous mathematical operations. I wrote PEMDAS up here. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's what that stands for. And so we're going to evaluate this um, expression and find out what it is equal to. So. Remember P stands for parentheses, so we always do parentheses first. We have two parentheses, and so we just stick with the one furthest to the left. We just do that one first. So we're going to forget about everything else and just look at what's inside this parentheses because we're doing parentheses first. So here we have 7 plus 2 squared. We're just going to evaluate this. So within our parentheses, we have another uh, complicated mathematical expression. It involves addition as well as an exponent. If you don't know what exponents are, make sure you watch the video on exponents. So here we have 7 plus 2 squared. Well, remember, we again apply this. We don't have parentheses here. The next one is exponents. So we do exponents before we do addition. Remember addition is way down here. It's one of the last things we do. Exponents is one of the first things we do. So before we do this addition, we're going to do 2 squared. So remember what 2 squared is. 2 times 2 is 4. So this equals 7 plus 4. 7 plus 2 squared is 7 plus 4 and that equals 11. So inside our parentheses 7 plus 2 squared, we figured out that equals 11. So I'm just going to substitute 11 in for this parentheses. So I'm just going to rewrite. So these are multiple step problems. And all you do is just do one step at a time. And then in order not to get confused, you just rewrite it. So we just figured out, we started with parentheses, we figured out 7 plus 2 squared is 11, so I just wrote 11 here instead of that parentheses. Well, we're still on P, parentheses, because we have another parentheses. We have 5 minus 3 cubed. So just inside the parentheses is 5 minus 3. Well, we all know what 5 minus 3 is, it's just 2. So I'm going to write, rewrite everything. Notice I'm just recopying this down, but I don't want to get confused. 5 minus 3 is 2. We knew that, but remember you have to keep the exponent on there. So we did 5 minus 3 is 2. So now we've done all of the parentheses. We're done with parentheses. Now we're left with this expression. 3 squared plus 16 divided by 8 minus 11 times 2 cubed. So 
Now we move to the next item, the E, exponents. Well, we have two exponents. We have three squared and we have two cubed. So again, we just start at the left. So three squared, three times three is nine. So I'm gonna evaluate that. So three times three is nine. So I write down nine plus 16 divided by eight minus 11 times two cubed. So we still have an exponent, so we're still on e. Two cubed. Two times two times two is eight. So I just replace that. Nine plus 16 divided by eight minus 11 times, so instead of two cubed, I'm gonna write eight. So now we don't have any more exponents. We're done with e. Next, we're gonna move into m, multiplication. We do have one multiplication, 11 times eight. So again, we're not gonna evaluate this left to right. We're doing the multiplication part of this because we're on m. Multiplication is 11 times eight. Well, we know that 11 times eight is 88. So we just, again, I'm just copying down what we, what, what we have and then evaluating this expression. 11 times eight is 88. So I write 88 there. So now we're done with multiplication. There's no more multiplication. D is division. We do have a division. Remember, fractions are just divisions. The top number divided by the bottom number. So here we have a division, 16 divided by eight. We all know 16 divided by eight is two. So nine plus two minus 88. Now we're done with division. Next we have addition. A, 9 plus 2. 9 plus 2 is 11 minus 88. I just evaluated these two numbers, 9 plus 2, and then copied this down. So now we're done with addition. We're finally to subtraction. 11 minus 88. So what is 11 minus 88? Negative 77. And so that is the answer to our problem. So this big, long um, mathematical phrase here is equal to negative 77. That is the answer to this question. So remember, PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We had to do parentheses first, and then we looked at exponents, and then we did multiplication, and then we did division, and then we did addition, and then we did subtraction. You have to do that in that order. If you just did 3 squared plus 16 divided by 8 minus 7 plus 2 squared times 5 minus 3 cubed, you would not get the right answer. You have to do it in these orders. We're going to do one more example. So here's another example. Again, we have a mathematical expression that involves subtraction, it involves um, exponents, division, so we can't just move left to right. We have to do it in the right order. So we start with P, parentheses. Well, we do have a parentheses. We have 7.3 minus 2.3 in that parentheses. So we evaluate that. What's 7.3 minus 2.3? That's just 5. So instead of writing 7.3 minus 2.3, we're just going to write 5 in there. So I'm just going to copy down everything else. 5, but you can't forget this exponent that's still on there. So you have to write that squared symbol. So now we have 8 minus 5 squared, because this is 5. 5 squared divided by the square root of 25. No more parentheses, but we do have exponents. So that's what we have to do next. The first one we have is 5 squared. That's an exponent. So everyone should know 5 squared is 25. 5 times 5 is 25. So we write that down. Instead of the 5 squared, we write 25. Now we have another exponent. You may not recognize this as an exponent, but any root is also an exponent. If you don't know what square roots are, please watch that video on roots. But a square root is actually an exponent of, so square root is an exponent of one half. It's actually written 
25 to the 1 half is the square root of 25. So, since that is an exponent, we have to evaluate this. So we should all know that the square root of 25 is 5. What times itself gives you 25? So the square root of 25 is 5. So instead of writing the square root of 25, we're just going to write what it equals. Just copying everything down and then set instead of the square root of 25, I'm going to write 5. So now we've gotten rid of all the exponents. We don't have any multiplication. We do have a division. Now we're at D. We have a division, 25 divided by 5. Well, we all know 25 divided by 5 is just 5. Done with division. We don't have any addition. We do have a subtraction. 8 minus 5 equals 3. So this expression, which kind of looks complicated at first, if you just work it step by step, the answer to it is 3. But remember parentheses first and then exponents. Remember square roots or if you have a cubed root, that's also considered an exponent. So you have to do that during the E phase. Multiplication, we did the division, addition, and then we did subtraction.